Hi there, it's Sean Stenning coming to you with a video about SEO for Firefox. One of the tools that we recommend that you use and download is the SEO for Firefox tool. If you're yet to have downloaded that tool, what you need to go to is tools.seobook.com. Once you're there, you just scroll down just a little bit and you'll see this thing that says competitive research tool, SEO for Firefox. Just click on that and you'll see the download button. Once you've downloaded it, you'll need to restart your Firefox browser. So we were suggesting that if you are doing some internet marketing or doing keyword research or you're doing competitor research, that you use the Firefox browser. The Firefox browser is free to download, so make sure that you um, go download Firefox and put the Fire SEO for Firefox tool plugin in. So back to Google so I can show you how this tool works. The first thing you'll notice is that down here I have a little thing that says SEO. When it's in color it means that it's on. When it's not in color it means that it's off. So when it's off and I do a normal search, so we might just search for Sean Stenning, you'll see that it just looks like a normal search. But when it's on and we do a search, so let's do a search for internet marketing you'll see that these little blue links come up under each search so the thing you might want to know is what are these blue links so I'm going to go through those now actually what I will do is go through the important ones that you need to know for when doing your keyword research and we might do another video that goes through each one a little bit later on so the first thing here this hash one just means they're ranked number one if you can see down here it says hash two that means they're ranked number two next thing along is PR so this is the page rank of the website if you click on the question mark it'll bring you back to page rank and as you can see it's a page rank six the next thing we really want to look at is how old is the domain name because this affects our search engine optimization this one here has been registered since 2001 the older the domain name is the um, higher it will rank so as we scroll across, the next thing we really want to look at is why links. This basically shows how many people are linking to this website. So we click that little link there and it will bring it back and you can see 66 million people are linking to this website. So that's a lot of people linking to the website. So the next thing you can see is why.edu links, why.gov links. So basically this says to you how many .edu websites are linking to this site. 330,000. How many .gov links link into this website? 21,000. Why is that important to know? Um, it goes back to the conversation about link strength and which links have more weight. Because remember, not all links are created equal. And .edu links and .gov links have more weight than normal links. So those are the major elements that you want to look at. As you scroll down, you'll see something down here called Alexa. Alexa is basically a traffic rank where they try and go and um, estimate uh, how much traffic your site gets and also it compares your sites to other websites and gives it a ranking. So if we were to click this one, basically what Alexa is saying is that this is the 8th um, most visited and most used website. Remember this is only an estimation, it's not an exact tool. So those are the major things I would be looking at when doing my market research to see whether a website is beatable. So obviously a website that's got 66 million links and a PR of 6 and a domain name age of about 7 years is ultimately going to be a very hard website to beat. So let's go down and look at the second one. So they've got a PR of 5 so that's getting a little bit easier to beat. How old are their domain name? it's not telling us how many links have they got 69,000 so still many many links there how many .edu links have they got none how many .gov none so it becomes a little bit easier to beat but still a very difficult site so these are the major things that I want you to look at when you're doing your keyword research to see whether you can um, beat other rank ranking websites uh, I hope that this short tutorial on how to use SEO for Firefox has been helpful for you and I'll talk to you again very very soon.